Organizers are getting ready to give out, give out a lot of gold, silver, and bronze medals in a few weeks. But are those materials really what Olympic medals are made of? NBC's Steve Kornacki finds out. Who says lightning doesn't strike the same place twice? Fast at the end, gets it done. Sean White takes the gold. Ever wonder what Olympic medals are made of? To answer that, we have to go all the way back to 1896, when the first International Olympics in modern history were held. Olympic medals weren't always the coveted gold, silver, and bronze we're familiar with today. In 1896, in Athens, Greece, silver medals were awarded to first place, along with an olive branch. Second place received bronze medals and a laurel branch. The tradition of awarding gold, silver, and bronze was first introduced eight years later at the 1904 Games in St. Louis, Missouri. So, what are Olympic and Paralympic medals made out of today? Contrary to its name, the gold medal is actually made up of mostly silver. Each gold medal contains only about six grams of pure gold, which encases the exterior of the medal. Silver medals are made out of pure silver. Bronze medals? made from roughly 95% copper and 5% zinc. The design elements have remained largely unchanged. Most medals include the Olympic rings, the Greek goddess of victory, Nike, and the official name of the games. But for Paris, a new material is being added to every Olympic medal, wrought iron lifted straight from the Eiffel Tower. This hexagon shape reflects the outline of France. The Paris Mint is manufacturing 5,084 medals each with a little piece of the city's great monument. So what is a gold medal worth? About $750 to $850 based on its content of silver and gold. But most Olympians would argue it's priceless. But they would. That was Steve Kornacki reporting. You can watch your favorite athletes when the opening ceremony kicks off on July 26th right here on New Center, Maine.